Take a look at this garage. We have tools, paint cans, saw horses, all kinds of other things all over the floor. We need some more space. You can use old kitchen cabinets to create extra storage space in your garage and get everything up off the floor. Today we're going to be using kitchen cabinets that we took out of a house that we remodeled in an earlier show. To get started, I'm going to get these cabinets inside, get everything cleared away, and we're ready to go. Okay, we have our garage cleaned out and we're arranging our cabinets. This is the area where we're going to be working. Now, remember these are not custom cabinets, so you're just going to have to decide where you want them to fit in your garage. You can draw a diagram, you can take measurements, or you can just move everything around until you get it where you like it. Now these are basically the cabinets that we're going to use, and this is going to be our center cabinet. Now this is actually going to go on the top, but so that I don't have to hold it up while I'm working, I'm just going to put it down here and then use it to work from. Since this is the center piece, I want to hang two cabinets one on each side. So I'm going to use the stud finder to find where my closest stud is from the side of this cabinet. Okay, it looks like there's one right there. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so there's one right there. And this is where we're going to hang our top cabinets. There are a couple of different ways that you can attach your cabinets to the studs, but I'm going to show you the way that I prefer. All right, what we're going to do is use this 1x4 to create a backer board that will screw into the studs, and that's what we're going to hang the cabinets from. I'm going to set my saw to cut a 45 degree angle. All right, let's get my safety glasses on first. Now, I'm also going to use a push shoe to push the board all the way through at the end so that I don't cut my fingers. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to take another 1x4 and make the exact same cut at a 45 degree angle. Okay, I have both boards cut. Now let me show you how this works. One board will be attached to the back of the cabinets and the other board will be attached to the wall. And then when they come together and meet, it will create sort of a lip and this is what's going to hold the cabinet securely in place. Okay, I have all of my boards cut on an angle and to length for each cabinet that I'm going to hang. Now I'm going to start with my upper side cabinet and this is what I marked the wall for earlier. I'm going to put this board on the back of the cabinet with the angle facing in. I'm going to put it right here on the top and I'm going to hold this in place with this clamp. It's called a quick grip and you can buy one for about $20. You want to make sure that it's flush with the top of your cabinet. Okay. And now the reason why I have this at the top is because I'm going to put my screw through this piece of wood right here into the 1x4. That way we'll have more support. I'm going to get my safety glasses on. I'm going to put a screw about every 8 to 12 inches on that piece of wood. Okay, that's my last screw. Now I'm ready to attach the other board to the wall. But before I do that, I need to take a measurement. We're going to measure from the bottom of the cabinet to the top part of this angle, and that's 27 and a half inches. Okay, this is the second board that I'm going to attach to the wall, and I want to face it so that the angle is going in towards the wall. All right, I have an electrical outlet here on the wall, and make sure that if you have one, you turn the power off before you start working. I've already done that. I want to go up about two inches from that outlet so that we still have access to it. Now, this is where I made my mark earlier for the stud, so I want this stud to be in the center of my backboard. So we're going to measure up 27 and a half inches and make a mark right there. Okay, now I'm ready to attach my board. And again, I want the angle facing in. I want to center this on my mark, and that's on my stud. Before I attach this, I want to make sure that it's level. 
And there we go. Okay, I'm using a screw to attach this to the stud. Okay, I have my board in place. Now here's the part where you might need some help. These cabinets are a little bit heavy and they're awkward, so our technical advisor, Brian, is gonna give me a hand. Hey, Brian, thank you so much. Now we're gonna lift this right up so that it fits right here on this backboard. You ready? See how those 45 degree angles come together? It's gonna hold it securely in place. Okay, I have the backer board in place for my top center cabinet. I'm ready to hang it. Brian, can you give me a hand again? Yes. I'm gonna take that clamp off. All right, let's lift this up. Is that good? Okay, thank you, Brian. Okay, this is the center section that I was talking about earlier. And now all we have to do, since we have our top cabinets in place, is build out our base cabinets. Okay, I'm putting my base cabinets in place. This one will fit right here. All right, that looks pretty good. Now to hold these in place, I'm gonna go ahead and put one screw in each cabinet. Now I've already found my stud. I know that there's one right here. And once again, I'm gonna put the screw through this top board right here for extra support. Okay, now I have my base cabinets in place. Now in the event that you have your top cabinets in place and your base cabinets and you find that they don't match up, here's the great thing about the way that we put this backer board on. All you have to do is slide the cabinets down until they match up with your bottom cabinets. And do the same thing on the side over here. Okay, now we have a nice symmetrical look to our cabinets. Okay, we're putting the countertop on, and once again, Brian is helping me, which I appreciate. Thank you, Brian. Now, we got this at our local home center for $33 because it had a scratch in it. So if you look, you can find a bargain. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this drawer out because to attach the countertop, I'm gonna go up through this piece of wood right here into the countertop. This is a piece of support wood that I put in right here so that I have something to attach the countertop to. We're finished with this project and it is so much more organized than it was. I've hung this pegboard here in the center for the hand tools and these cabinets are really working great getting all the other tools and accessories up off the floor and out of the way. Now if you have a friend who's remodeling or you go to a flea market, this can really be an inexpensive do-it-yourself project. This homeowner now has a great place to work and they're actually going to be able to pull their car into the garage. Mm -hmm.